okay, so hello. Um, I'm just sitting here editing another video and I have lost some footage somewhere. <laughs> I think I might have deleted some footage by accident. So I think I had enough, I think I have enough footage, but if it seems like it's kind of like jumping all over the place or it seems like I've missed some things, it's probably because I deleted some files. I uh, got most of it together so it looks like a normal video and it probably actually can't tell that there was missing files but I noticed so I thought I would just tell you guys that if you see random things that you're like wait it seemed like he skipped that part or something or how did that happen it's because those files have been deleted and you can just uh if you're curious about whatever things that you've noticed, just ask me and I'll try to um, remember what I did in those sections. And it kind of ends a little bit abruptly because whatever ending I had isn't there. So that's fine. A few of my other videos have ended kind of abruptly because I keep forgetting to film um, like a closure to each video. <laughs> Um, that's something I kind of need to work on a little bit. So, but that's, uh, that's just kind of like a quick update on, um, what's going on here. And I did a lot of sanding. Most of my sanding footage was deleted. So you guys, uh, have been spared a long, a long video of just me sanding. <laughs> Don't worry, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have put just sanding down, me sanding the boat. But um, yeah, lots of sanding, finished the transom, installed the drain plugs. I should stop spoiling it for you guys because you should just watch it. All right guys, I'll see you later. Have a good night. I got to the point where I wanted to be today, which was have the whole entire boat at least sanded once. So that's good. Actually just gonna head home. I'll see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I have uh, my drain plugs. I like to cut them down to size. So these two drain plugs will be for like the sides of the bilge pump and this will be for the back. So I'm going to use, I found this 3M Marine adhesive sealant, Fast Cure 5200. So apparently this is very uh, permanent adhesive for uh, marine use. So I'm gonna fill in um, the holes with this stuff and then just kind of like tap these into place and hopefully that will seal it. So I'm gonna do that and then uh, see how that turns out. So I bought this fancy tool. This basically helps um, sandwich the plug in place. Okay, so I got the drain tube plug installed. You can get this on Amazon for like, I think $12. So with that tool, you just um, put it through and then 
clamp it down so that it it builds a flange on this side as well so that uh, it will stay in place. You can't really see it, but I basically just covered it in sealant. I got two of these. I'm gonna probably use these on the inside. And then I have one of the twisty ones for the back. Good to have those in. And then we're that much closer to painting. The prep work for paint is a long process, but it's a well needed process. If you don't do it right, your paint job looks pretty bad. So gotta do it right the first time. Okay. <clears throat> I remembered that I never put a piece of fiberglass cloth over this corner, like joining, basically joining the top to the transom, I guess you could say. And also these holes were, um, they had a bit of fiberglass up the edge on both sides, but they weren't really supported. But there was no, there wasn't really any support under here. So, so what I did just now quickly grab my grinder with the sandpaper disc. And I just cleaned, and I just quickly cleaned the edge along here and then took down um, the fiberglass that I had here, down to here, on both ends. So my plan now is to cut out some fiberglass cloth. And what I wanna do, I'm gonna cut out some pieces because I, I wanna join this corner. And I'm probably going to fill in this with either a bunch of fiberglass putty or maybe put a little block in there and then basically just build up fiberglass up along this corner up to here like a few layers multiple layers probably two layers along this edge i want to put one more on top kind of getting pretty thin here at least i think it'll just give it that extra strength i'll get my fiberglass out and the resin and the cloth and then just go over basically build up each corner here and here, and then uh, put a fiberglass uh, body filler in both sides. I'm gonna lay a strip of fiberglass cloth here first, and then, and then build up each corner. So it comes up here, and probably also this corner on both sides. So if that makes any sense, I don't know, but uh, I think it's just gonna help it um, well, first of all, I need to seal. I need to seal these corners. I can't let water get in there. And I need to also, I think it'll also help with giving the uh, corners a lot of extra strength. So I'm gonna do that quickly. I'm gonna see if I can get you guys set up, maybe right here. And then, and then hopefully get this transom finished off 100%. Okay, so it's the next morning and this is dry. So I will be sanding down both edges, flush with the transom, both sides, and then kind of kind of shaping these, these corners up on both ends. So let's just get to sanding this down and then see how it looks. And then I'll be cutting out a new piece with this fiberglass mat. I'm gonna cut out the proper shape to this transom and we'll fold over. So I just gotta do that after all the sanding is done. Got this all sanded down. You can see here it's flush now. It's a nice corner that I can work with. I put some more fiberglass cloth on and I formed up and shaped or I shaped up these corners with the sander. 
I'm gonna probably uh, fill in these areas with some body filler. Um, actually, the new piece of fiberglass cloth I'm gonna cut out will probably come up here one, one more piece. Just give that extra strength there. And see if I can try to wrap it around the bottom here. We'll see. Same with this side, obviously. <laughs> Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Now I'm just gonna clean everything up, wipe it down, and then I'll cut out my new shape, or I'll cut out my new piece of fiberglass resin, or fiberglass cloth, and mix up some resin and lay that piece down. I've gotta change my battery here because I'm at 3%. 3% doesn't last very long, so I'll do that first. I'm not gonna be laying it over this corner, this corner or this joint already has like three, two or three layers of fiberglass over it already. So I'm just going to be putting it over the back corner. Okay, so I got actually two layers on, which was pretty good. Um, so yeah, I just got a, I was able to get it up along these, this corner pretty, pretty good. So I was able to build it up um, along this edge and on the bottom here. So that will give it more strength. Same with on this edge. Um, I guess I'll just see what it's like when it's dry. And then I'm gonna come back tomorrow, sand this lip down and then uh, finish off the rest of the transom. So I gotta head out now, hopefully come back tomorrow and sand the rest of that down. But until then, I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. All right, so I'm back here the next day and let's see here, it's all dry. Turned out pretty nice. Hopefully there's a bit of a lip here still. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grind or sand this down flush with the bottom part there of the transom and then just clean up these edges make it all smooth and then when that's done i'm just gonna go everything with a little bit of maybe bondo fill in some of these areas and then hopefully uh it'll look good and then hopefully that's the last step for the transom so i'm gonna just get started on sanding right away and see how it goes Just finished sanding the boat. I went over the whole boat with 60 grit first. Um, and then that was a little much. So I actually went down to 80 grit to keep it from, the 60 grit was kind of like leaving some pretty heavy scratches in the surface. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to have to work with those scratches. So I went to 80 grit. I did the whole boat in 80 grit and then actually went over with 150 grit, I think twice. In most areas I went over it twice with 150. Um, and then after 150, I went over the whole boat with 220. So um, I think that it's, basically good to go. I decided that I'm going to prime the boat um, before I paint it. The paint that I bought doesn't necessarily need a primer, but I decided to use a primer, a high build or a high fill um, build, I guess a high build primer to fill in any leftover like scratches or uh, uh, flaws in the surface. So. 
on the front here, you probably can't see it on camera, but basically this whole top surface has very small um, cracks in the gel coat. And I didn't want to just paint over that because I didn't know if it was gonna, I didn't know if it was going to crack in the future. So I asked my other boat buddy, Scott, what he would do and he suggested that I would prime it with a high build primer and uh, he said that he called his he called his painter and his painter recommended the automotive primer filler so I got I'm gonna get some more of these cans but these I will basically just spray paint on through the can and then after the first coat I will just sand down the whole thing with 220 or 320 uh, grit sandpaper. And hopefully that will eliminate any of the cracks, the gel coat cracks that I found in the surface of the boat. So see if I can prime like 24 hours before I actually paint it, maybe wet sand it. And then after that, I should be good to go with spray painting the, the top side, total boat top side paint which is somewhere around here. At this point, I'm gonna vacuum the whole boat down. After I'm done vacuuming, I'm gonna wipe down the whole boat with this Total Boat de-waxer and surface prep. Um, and that should give me a nice clean surface. So I'm gonna do that before I prime. So at this point, I'm gonna use this vacuum with the soft brush, hook it to that, and then pull out the de-waxer and see how it turns out. 